Hey, good to see you. Come on in. No, it's not work. I just wanted to show you something. It took me forever to get my hands on this. I mean, literally, I like pre-ordered it two months ago. But we got the deluxe edition of Ice Nine Kills, Welcome to Horwood. And I wanted to open it with you. I don't know what we're going to see in here. This uh, Spencer guy seems like quite a bit of work. So hopefully don't, we don't get demonetized. We don't have enough subscribers to be monetized. Oh, well, you can help with that. Uh, like and subscribe. Sweet. So yeah, it just comes in this uh, little evidence envelope. Just the back of it. I just recently had a... Uh, I was in a car crash and I had a gun in the car and uh, they took it and the bag is pretty much just like this. <laughs> so that's cool. All right, what are these? Little, here's the back of that. Little uh, art prints. Oh, okay. This is the Spencer would like to thank. Thing Dan would like to thank. Joe would like to thank. I actually um, uh, read these a lot. And they got like a little hole burnt out in it. That's kind of cool. Some names have been changed to protect the innocent. It's the credits. That's amazing. I love that. Then got the credits. Some art prints. Looks like. Okay, this is the lyrics for meet and greet. So this is like the uh, lyrics for Ex Mortis. It's pretty cool. I don't know like the lore for all this. I know that there is lore. So I think I'm I think I'm getting this all mixed up here. I'll try to keep it all together. This is the uh... Oh that's case one. Okay. So it goes something like this. Okay, so there's lyrics and stuff. Love it. What's in the digipack here? Scary pictures. Pretty, pretty standard stuff. Let's see what the CD looks like. <laughs> that looks cool. That's the uh, disc two orchestral version there. Disc one, the regular album. Oh, that's cool. We got the, uh, I think that's on streaming what the album for the uh, orchestral one looks like. That's pretty much it. I don't know if you guys want to, I don't think I'm going to go through every page of this thing. Maybe we'll just run through it quick. Whoop. Whoop. I should put these in order. Album review, I guess, if you're interested. Um, I, I'm not like a huge horror fan. Um, I really like Ice Nine's music, so I've become more of one through them. Started watching some of the horror movies that they've done, like um, Hellraiser and whatnot. Um, I really like horror video games. It's kind of weird to me, like consuming a bunch of media that's like, or like just being a fan of like murder stuff. I think it's kind of like, it just, it's a lot, I guess. I don't know, it just, I know it's all just fun and, and games and everything, but it's a little dark for me, but I, I like some dark things. I'm a big metal head and stuff like that. So I don't know. It's not quite my cup of tea, but the music is really good, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Welcome to Horrorwood was my album of the year that came out. Was that 2021 or two? Anyway, which whichever it was, it was my album of the year. Um, my favorite album that came out that year. I thought it was just so good. And uh, that's why I bought this deluxe edition of it. And I am going to give it, with a caveat being, I, it's, it's a lot of songs about murder and stuff, which kind of makes me uncomfortable. But at the same time, I'm going to give it 10 out of 10. I think it's a really solid album. And um, it's got some really beautiful parts in it. Um, despite all being horror and stuff, I think it's 
I think it's a, a masterpiece. So there's that. <laughs> Sweet.